the story in Sadeki is um, about good and evil. Um, there's a light world, a shadow world, and a dark world. And you've got to find out the origins of the dark world and the secrets. The reason why Sadeki is different to other RPGs is that it's completely real time, but it still has the depth of a traditional RPG in that you've got summon spells, like you'd have something like Final Fantasy, um, and you've got tactical decisions to make while you're in combat. Um, we have a system called One Time, which you can switch to when you're in the menus, and the game runs in the background at 15% speed. And this allows you to still be under pressure, so it's still very much real time, but you can make tactical decisions and you can choose exactly what you want from the menu. In most other traditional RPGs, you're actually in control of a party of characters, whereas our game is more like an action-adventure ga action adventure game where you've got four separate action-adventure characters that you can switch between at any point. Um, and then when you're not, you're not directly controlling them, you can control their AI settings. There's Ailish, the princess. She, her, her special ability for solving puzzles is that she can dispel invisible or illusionary objects, um, which then makes them available to manipulate by with the other characters. Um, Elko has a rocket pack, so he can jump chasms and um, therefore get horizontally to places that other, the other characters can't. Buki can sort of do the same vertically because she can climb sheer surfaces. She's a melee combat uh, character. Um, she's half, half woman, half cat. And then Tao can push and pull heavy objects. The combat in this game is completely different to any other RPG that's out there. It's much more akin to something like Devil May Cry, which is about smacking enemies with swords. Um, so it's very, it's very, very fast-paced, and it's like controlling four different action-adventure characters within an RPG, within a really rich world, all threaded together with quite a twisting and turning plot. I'll kill your flesh and break your frozen heart. As you gain levels, you also gain new spells and new abilities. And then on top of that, you can actually make your own magical weapons up. And then you can summon down the deities of the, go the, deities of the gods, the demigods. Um, and it really kicks off when you get there. You can't resist my healing chin.